En Vancouver la hora es... 11 y 18 minutos. Net Radio, creada para ti. Hi there, this is Jessica. I would like to invite you to listen to my radio show. Better. Better, better, better. The space where together we will explore different topics related to mind, spirit and physical improvement. Because every day, in every way, my life is getting better and better. Every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Only on netradioonline.com The radio created for you. Here in Better, thank you for listening to us. Listening to us. Uh, today is November 28, 2017, and we are here in Vancouver, Canada. Um, well, first, I, w I would like to talk about something. This um, Saturday, it was a very special day for online um, Net Radio Online uh, because it was an opening of the English channels and of course we were talking about better and we also talk about a show that is starting today at five o'clock which is uh, City Styles with Pega so I'm inviting you guys to listen to her so remember today at 5 p.m. here in netradioonline.com also as you know it was a Black Friday weekend so I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't buy anything because I was too busy in Saturday because we have the event. But I went online and visited galeanasshop.com and I found very good products, beauty products, creams, nice uh, stuff for the hair and everything. And everything, it was a great prices. Although I couldn't finish my shopping, So I talked to them and they say, you know, Jessica, don't worry because we like you. We're going to keep the prices for Tuesday so you can share those prices to everyone that are listening to you. So guys, I inviting you to visit galeanashop.com today because you will find the Black Friday prices. So take advantage and go today. And the prices are going to be there until tonight at 11.59. So hurry and visit galeanashop.com. Thank you. And, of course, I am very happy and glad and honored to have here astrologer Hilary Scott. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. It's exciting. Uh, it's so exciting to have you here. Guys, Hilary Scott is been doing astrology for how long? 22 years about. Wow. Well, 22 years. <laughs> And how did you start with astrology? Um, I first got interested in tarot cards uh -huh. when I was about 21. I think my mom took me to have a tarot card reading. And I was like... How can this be? How can this information come? Where did it come from? So when I was actually exploring tarot cards and numerology and all those different ways of kind of finding out the secrets of the universe, I discovered astrology by accident. And I read about the signs and I was like, oh my God, I'm so, this is so me. Like it was so accurate. And then I realized that it's just, it's a huge study. It goes very deep and there's, it's, eons old and I fell in love with it. It was a, an accident that I found it. In a, an accident? An accident. That's happy a nice accident. accident. Yeah, it was a nice accident. Great, yeah. great. Oh, so, 
So do you study it or you just practice it or how do you Well, practice? I studied I I studied like on my own for many years. It was like the early 90s when I first started studying. So there was no like internet like there is now. So I had to order books online and <laughs> that it was pretty expensive, I think. It was. It was expensive because I had to you could pretty much learn anything you needed to on the internet for free now, but you know i had to order books and and i also took um a program from japan when i was living in japan through the mail which was funny they mail video tapes in the mail and i studied the evolutionary astrology which is kind of the soul's path through many lifetimes so oh. that was quite an in-depth study but otherwise i've been studying on my own too for all these years i still study i still look things up and learn and i always learn i'm sure So for those who don't know, she also has a, a podcast yes. and she's very good. Oh my gosh, I love it. So <laughs> I am you. glad to have her here because I know you guys can listen to her voice and her voice is so beautiful. Oh, no, I, I'm thank, not kidding, honestly. Thank you. Was, yesterday night I was listening to you. I'm like, oh my gosh, how a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. That is The very information is so amazing, but your voice is like, is, it just matches, you know, oh. it's just great. Thank you. Um, So tell me something, okay? Most of the people think that astrology is horoscopes and, mm -hmm. you know, in newspapers you go and have your coffee and, oh, let's find out, I'm a cancer. Right, right. So, yeah, yeah, and you I look mean, at the what, what about though? cancer today? Right. Uh, is there something about that or is more to it? What is it? Well, I think that is sort of what put astrology in the mainstream media is when newspapers and things started to have horoscopes. But when you actually take, when I look at someone's birth chart, it's the snapshot of where they were in on earth and where the heavens were when they were born. And the planets, each of them, not just the sun, which is the horoscopes, you're a cancer or you're a Capricorn. So, so those are the sun? That's just the sun. But there's 10 other planets and they all like relate to your psyche and your path in life and your, you can see so much from the planets. So you have your moon sign, you have your, v, where is your Venus, you have Mars, Pluto, Saturn, all of that is looked at when you look at a birth chart. So the sun sign is just like, like just punctuation kind of. <laughs> really? Yeah, so, it's not. So what would you say is the sun sign in, in one person? Like what does it detect? The sun, the sun sign, the sun sign is, you know what? What? For, oh, two we have minutes. two minutes. Two okay, minutes. Sorry, okay. two minutes. So, sorry, yeah, sorry. That's sorry, quite guys. a bit. So, I can, please. No, okay. No. <laughs> so for two, um, for two minutes, for the sun sign is like your, um, your identity, what your soul is a, a, trying to accomplish in this lifetime. So it's not always natural to you to be, a, I'm a Capricorn and you're a Cancer. We're actually opposite. I know. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> I like you too, but that can happen too. Opposites attract, right? Yeah. And so if, if two opposites come together, they can actually complete each other. They can kind of fill in the missing parts of the other, or they can like be combative with each other. But the sun sign is kind of like your, 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 your purpose in life, what you're trying to accomplish to a certain degree, who you're trying to be, your identity. So you don't, you, you were not born being that person, you're trying to be that person. Yes, you're trying to be that person kind of thing. So it's not all like Libras are supposed to be so lovely and balanced and everything, but often they're like, like very unbalanced because they're trying to achieve balance. So there's this push and pull. And so, so, so you will say that they will find ways to get out of that balance and they have to go back to right, the balance. exactly, and, and they're studying balance kind of thing. So they're not automatically like that. So will you say that some other people that are not Libra, mm -hmm. Libra, sorry, mm -hmm. they will, they are already balanced. Yeah, they maybe, have the balance, that's not their issue. Yeah, they don't oh, need it's to. It's not an issue. So it's, so it's yeah. like, a, oh, I have this issue. I have to become balanced, yes, for example. Kind of like that. And we all have our good and our bad. Like each sign has its good and bad. Each planet has its good and bad. So we're kind of always oh trust me i think I, i told you when i met you yeah i'm a cancer and sometimes i'm like oh, i'm a cancer why do i why do i have to be a cancer because it's we, so we're, emotional yeah, so emotional I know. and i hate that it sucks being so emotional <laughs> i relate to that because i have a scorpio moon and a cancer rising oh, so i'm, I'm you. emotional too. It's very it's, but you also have i looked at your chart and you have an aries rising which makes you very fiery which oh, is probably really? why you're impatient with The emotional stuff. Oh, that's why I hate myself. Yeah, that's why you hate I'm yourself. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, stop. Okay. okay, guys, we have to go to um, commercials, but we are coming back with Hillary Scott, so stay tuned. <laughs>
Despegamos a la conquista del universo. Net Radio. Creada para ti. Estamos para ti. Net Radio. Eterna. La línea de productos de belleza líder en el mercado. Elaborados con los más finos ingredientes europeos y patrocinador oficial Miss Universo 2014. Sé parte de este grupo de profesionales exitosos y empieza a ganar dinero ahora. Luce y haz dinero con Eterna. Informes al teléfono 140 87 99 08 25. Contacto Patricia Balanzar. Eterna. Buscamos motivar tus sentidos. No te apartes de esta sintonía. Net Radio, creada para ti. Hey there, Net Radio Online listeners. Feel like you need to beautify and rejuvenate lately? Well, now you can do it all at Eco Beauty Med Spa. With a variety of different aesthetic, facial, and body treatments, Eco Beauty Med Spa is the perfect beauty spa experience for everyone. Make sure you visit the Facebook page at Eco Beauty Med Spa for Life or contact Gloria Silva at 1-416-888-3354 in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Net Radio Online. Escúchanos todo el día, todos los días. ¿Le preocupa la caída de su cabello? ¿Ya no brilla y luce como antes? No se preocupe más. Sistemas de tratamiento, Monet, tiene la solución. Clínicamente comprobado. Recupera el crecimiento y restaure su cabello en solo 90 días usando Monet. Gima Chater los atenderá con el profesionalismo que ustedes se merecen. Informes y ventas al teléfono 604-317-4970. 604-317-4970. Monet. Hi there, this is Jessica. I would like to invite you to listen to my radio show. Better. Better, 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 better. The space where together we will explore different topics related to mind, spirit and physical improvement. Because every day, in every way, my life is getting better and better. Every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Only on netradioonline.com The radio created for you. Hi there. And we are back here in Better with Hilary Scott. And we were talking about... Um, the different signs or different planets and exactly. how they influence you. Exactly. Um, we were talking about how different, like like you say, we have our sun sign, yeah. which are not really us, but well, we are yeah. trying to become. It's them. our value. It's kind of what we're what we value in life, like in a way. What what are? Yeah. It's like our. What we stand for? Kind of. Yeah. Like yes, something that seems important to us. Like cancers are very family loving and I know. families is very like a important. mother mothering energy <laughs> and even like just your brood around you and if you don't have children you'll you'll have people around that are like your children or pets and things like that. <laughs> and Capricorns are like, Oh, I gotta climb to the top and so it's like mother father energy in oh, a way. Oh interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And um We were also talking about how you have that, and then you have the moon sign mm -hmm. that just I just learned with you like a week ago yeah. because you told me that. That and this is very very interesting, guys. So could you explain about the moon sign? So the moon sign is where you look in someone's birth chart to see how their emotional self is, and also often it relates to who they were in a past life. So it's kind of 
ingrained more they're already like that so and if you know if you're a cancer and let's say you had a gemini moon mm-hmm. you wouldn't have an emotional self <laughs> on your, on your inside kind of thing so they they would contrast each other but you have <laughs> cancer, cancer. But in my case Guys, I'm a cancer, cancer. And cancer, you have mercury. Your thinking is like cancer too. Oh gosh. <laughs> no wonder why. So I'm a cancer, cancer, very cancer. Very cancer. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So it's very emotional, but then you do have an Aries rising and rising is like the mask that you show everybody. So what I'm you put out it. into the world <laughs> and you're this is very strong and capable and fiery and and didn't you say you were a Zumba teacher too? Yeah, I am. Right, I am a you're Zumba, Zumba teacher. teacher. Yes. So, like, that is a fiery, like, you know, get movement kind of thing. Oh, that's a salsa. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. That is exact. So, and it, you're lucky to have it because it fires up your energy. Whereas if it was all just cancer energy, you might be very watery and kind of lazy and... And um, not as like so. Thanks God, I have an Aries. Right? <laughs> yeah. We all have a big mix of things, and the more you get into it, the, like the more details of your character and your life plan you can see. It's very interesting. Wow, guys, don't don't forget to send questions. Take advantage because she is here. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. Yes, and could you explain us what is a birth chart? Because you were talking about that, so I want everybody right. to understand. So a birth chart is. Um, I want to show it because it's showing it is so much do, more do than... Do you have any? Um, no, I don't. I, don't I, I might have like video. I might actually have yours <laughs> on my iPad, which oh, I'll show. Oh, mine. Yeah. <laughs> I brought okay. it because I figured that we might need For to... For all of you that are in face, uh, life, Facebook Live are going to be happy to see the chart. My chart. Oh, okay. Yes, let's see if I can get it. And uh, so... Just so you know, guys, I met Hillary Scott uh, two weeks ago. Not even, almost two weeks ago. Almost uh, through a friend who's called Paisley. Mm. Paisley, if you are hi Paisley, listening to us, <laughs> hi. And I was taking there uh, a class, and I learned a little bit, just a little bit, because trust me, guys, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> so this is your birth chart. Uh, so everyone can see. Can you see everyone? Yeah. Like this? Like back a little? Yeah. So like it's that. very like, this is all the planets, and this is like, each person's chart is very different. So depending on when you took your first breath, the time of birth, and where you were born, it's just, I need that information. Thanks to my mom. Yes. I, know, I know my time of birth that now. That was lovely of her to do that. And so we were able to pull this up, and this is Jessica's chart. It's like her blueprints for her lifetime, or her coordinates for her plan on Earth is wow. a good way to look at it. Wow. So it's a lot. But it's yes. quite, it's, it's no quite con- like it's another language, really, which is it, like you'd probably be able to pick it up because you picked up another language just fine. <laughs> you might be able to pick this language <laughs> well, up, Well, just too. fine. I'm still <laughs> picking it up. You know, yeah. sometimes my English doesn't work. Sometimes it works. I don't but know. You, but you strange. came, they say when you come as an adult, it's a lot harder to. Oh, yes. And you were an adult, right? I was I was 23, yes. Right. I'm up here. Oh, that's yeah. how old when I went to Japan. I was uh, there, Did you learn Japan? I did. I, I did a little bit, like skoshi dake, a little bit where I lo- I learned like grown up words, but my sentence structure, like how I put the words together, wasn't very good. <laughs> Sometimes it happens to me, right? <laughs> like, so I understand. Yeah. Well, in Japanese was so different than like I think if I tried to learn Spanish for four years, I would have learned it probably. But there, I was just well, I was Spanish like is a, fun. Yeah, you should, I like. You should learn. I will <laughs> learn. I'm actually planning to learn it because we've just discovered Mexico, and we're like, oh, we're gonna go again in the winter. So well, maybe one day we can go together. Yes, that would be fun. <laughs> and so, tell me something. So, what what can you s- tell about someone? Everything, personality, yes. or I can tell like. Um, yeah, I can tell a lot of things. I, like when when you look at the chart, this is how the planets interact with each other. So they form relationships together. So I can see how your moon, which is your feeling self, and your Mercury, which is your thinking self, connect to each other. And if they connect easily or not easily, and all the planets connect like that. So each of these relationships called aspects. And it's interesting because we use the word, well, that's just another aspect of our relationship or another aspect of her personality. <laughs> that's an astrological term, actually. Uh, really? Yeah. So for a fact, it, does, it comes from there? Yes. An aspect. Okay. Right? And so and we understand what that means, right? It's different facets. So yes. in a chart, uh, the different aspects connect to your personality. So I can see when I do someone's chart, I immediately look for the difficult stuff. I can see what happened 
you know, what kind of childhood they might have had, how their father related to them, how their mother related to them, if siblings had an effect on them. Wow. Whether it was a good, a bad, or difficult relationship with the, the family members, how that would affect the psyche now, how you might be playing it out now. Wow. So this is like a psychology yeah. kind of like I don't know. That's kind of how there's different branches of astrology. It's like a big tree and there's many branches. And my branch is the psychological one. Like I'm interested in how the psyche is working to create the life, to manifest the life. Wow. Because I believe we manifest our reality. So some of us have an easier time of it than others. And you can see that too, like if you're harmonious. But I can pick up what might be stopping somebody from getting what they want or whether what they want isn't what they really want or if it's just conditioned into them. So you can kind of see, you can see so much. You can see past life information. So Past life information. Past life information. So where, where can you see that? I mean, if um, when someone was born, yep. it comes with that information. They come, well, and like the birth chart holds like, like I, I just recently heard it as called the coordinates. So you can kind of see what your plan is. Oh, here. like a map? Like a map. And a blue well, it looks good. like a map. It does kind of look like a map. But you can like, I would look to a, um, an aspect, well, a, a part of the chart called the North Node. And that will show me what you were in a past life, what, what you were learning in a past life and what you're trying to learn in this life. And it's what your soul's growing into, like... But our past is much easier to be, so we slip back into it very easily. Oh, that's why that's why we prefer to go in the past. Right. Because and we get stuck easy. in the past because mm-hmm. it's it's harder to go forward. Like even coming here today, I had to like drive on the freeway in the rain and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't like doing that. It was stressful. Just yeah, so you know, she had to drive like 45 minutes, like, one hour. Yeah, about an hour. But yeah, like to be here. Thanks. I could have easily just said, oh, I don't want to do that. But I got in the car and I went towards you know what was the right thing to do it was so worth it exactly (laughs) so but that's like a small example of how we can easily just not want to take the road that will you know forge us into better people or more of who we are because it's easier to stay in the past ultimately wow you can see that in someone's chart I can see why you love it so I know I I can see it because I'm like I'm like so excited right now and I very interesting so tell me something okay uh you were married when, when you study, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, w- I think I found astrology before I found my hubby. <laughs> Just a little, though. Within a few years. Tell me yeah. something. Do you, will you go like, okay, I um, I know this guy, uh-huh. so I'm going I'm gonna to look about what oh, yeah. he's my about. My friends all call me, oh, I'm dating this guy, and here's his <laughs> birth info. And then we look at the chart, which, and then I can see, I can see, we can see a lot. We can see if you're compatible, because there is two different charts where it's called a composite chart or a synastry where I look at two characters and put them together and you can see do these people get along what's their past life together what so you actually can see what their past life together is if they had a relationship before yep you can and like it's all in like archetypes is a way to look at it. Also, like, so so you like cards, like tarot has the yes, archetype. Exactly. I, sorry, that word is difficult for Which me. Tarot I, cards? No, the archetype. Archetype. Yeah, I think archetype. that's how it says. I think people say archetype sometimes archetype. too. Okay. I don't really like archetype. Archetype <laughs> okay. is better. <laughs> I so, might not even be so right. It's the same thing. So yes. you guys have the same as Similar. tarot cards. Uh huh. And and I understand mm-hmm. tarot cards too. It, it is like it's like oh here is like the sun for instance the sun card mm-hmm. and it has all this meaning right. You could read many books and it would talk about the sun card or the moon card or all the different cards. And astrology like when I read about Saturn, there's a whole book of information about Saturn. Like so much information. So each, when I'm looking at past lives, I'll get like the flavor of the past life. I might not get details. Like, well, oh, you, can, uh, you were like, you know, <laughs> King Tut and you did like, I won't get that, but I'll get the flavor of the emotional pattern. The emotional the, like, pattern. Yes. Yeah. Or the psychological pattern. Or like you can see, was it a harmonious or difficult just based on the aspects and things like wow. that. So yeah, it's quite interesting. And then as I describe the archetype to people, then they can just dis- like, they, often they'll go, oh, like I know that, or I had that memory, or they'll connect with what I'm saying. And it's very helpful to connect to your past life information. How about you, like, have you read your own? Oh, yes. I, we said, what is good for you about, like you, you practice it. Yeah how astrology has changed your life your perspective in your own life ah 
Well, <laughs> I think I think that's the more challenging when you have you learn something. Yes. You know how to help some somebody. Yeah. How can you you know help yourself? Well, I think that it was my own self trying to understand the universe. Like I have a, lots of Sagittarius, which is very philosophical, uh. and I wanted to like find the truth. What is the truth? Why are we here? Ever since I was very little, I'm like, how did we get here? Like, what are we doing here? And so I was asking and they say that if you ask questions, the answers will come. And so I think because I was very like inquisitive and wanted deep deep answers to things, I had complicated childhood and things. I needed answers and I guess I could have become a Christian or something too possibly. Mm-hmm. But luckily I found astrology which is much more answers for me <laughs> and so much more helpful information for me to use. So for me, I um I was able to stop being like I was really self-righteous before. Like I would be very like, well this is the way it is. Like very Oh, so you were like Capricorn, kind of open, Capricorn and Sagittarius <laughs> also. Like Together. I was, I was open mind and Scorpio. So I was open minded to finding these but once I found them, you couldn't tell me like that I was wrong. I would be like, <laughs> "Oh no." And I realized from astrology that this is a Sagittarian trait and that it's really not a very nice trait and that you better get a hold of it. And so you control it. I control it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it, sometimes good. it'll come out like cuz it's part of my character. Yeah, but I can like I know, oh like that's not very nice like I'm able to like stop myself whereas uh, all the Sagittarians in my life my poor hubby's got a mom a sister a brother a daughter all Sagittarius <laughs> and he has no Sagittarius so he really understands how difficult but he has to understand right <laughs> and there's a part of his chart where he's learning to become a Sagittarius oh, his north node well so we're all there showing him how to do it welcome <laughs> to school yes here we are awesome so, yeah it, it helped me stop being so self-righteous which I appreciate because it was intolerable. It was not a nice trait in a personality. So that was good. I think and it also, you know, there's so much. It goes so deep. There's so much you can see. That's so interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have another minute. So Okay. Um in a way, mm-hmm. you can you can say that astrologer uh, astrology has guided you? Yes. Yeah. It's it's been like your guide? Yeah. It's been like Like it's it's a, it's a it's hard to even describe what it is because it's not a religion. It's not like it's so much it's like it's, a language. It's science. It's like a science too because you have to use the calculations, right? But then it's like an art to interpret it all. So every astrologer will come at it from another angle yet still tell you similar things with this like a different flavor maybe. Because everybody has this their style, but right. at the end like you say you, you use numbers. Like yes. I've seen you, you, you can use numbers. Yeah. It's like very exact. Well, is that like the planets are moving degrees every day? So I like I look what degree was that was that at when something happened? If I want to look at an important event or so yes, it's very quite precise. But the computer does all that. So thanks, so. yeah. Thanks <laughs> so know how I would I, if I had to do if I had to do the math that astrologers 50 years ago had to do, I couldn't do it because I'm not mathy. So it would have been lost to me because I would never have done that part of it. So now that you have the technology, yeah, now you I'm just like, have to I can interpret. Read, yeah, I can read the language, which nice. makes it very... I had to study and learn, but it's made it very accessible to me, which is good. It's a language. It's like a totally new language. I, I can tell you guys because in the class, she showed us uh, this... The moon sign calendar. This, the calendar. And yeah. then there, there were like... The glyphs. The glyphs. Yes, the symbols. So difficult. Yes. <laughs> Once you learn the symbols... Okay, uh, we have to go to commercials, so we'll be back. Stay tuned here with Hilary Scott. Thank you. Estás en compañía de Net Radio, la radio creada para ti. ¿Está usted buscando comprar el departamento o la casa de sus sueños? ¿O desea encontrar el local ideal para su negocio? Contáctese con Nora Valdés, su agente de bienes raíces en Vancouver, British Columbia, Canadá, al teléfono 604-351-0625 o en su página web noravaldez.ca. ¡Qué bien! La hora de lunch. Y la pregunta de siempre, chicos. ¿A dónde vamos a comer? Ven a Playa Tropical, el mejor restaurante mexicano en New Westminster, en el 334 de la calle 6, Pozole, Menudo y Lunch Special, todos los días. 
flautas, enchilada de camarón y ceviche de pecado y es variedades de tacos. ¡Qué rico! Música en vivo viernes y sábado. Prueba la bebida de la casa, nuestra deliciosa tropicadita. Música, sabor y hospitalidad mexicana. Restaurante Playa Tropical. Menciona este anuncio y en la compra de tu mil un jarrito gratis. Escúchanos, somos Net Radio, viviendo contigo en el tiempo y en el espacio. Donde el sonido lo pones tú. La magia. Net Radio. Net Radio. Hola, yo soy Cintia de Pando y estás escuchando Net Radio Online. Transmitiendo desde Vancouver, Canadá. Hi there, this is Jessica. I would like to invite you to listen my radio show. Better. The space where together we will explore different topics related to mind, spirit and physical improvement. Because every day, in every way, my life is getting better and better every Tuesday at 11 a.m. only on netradioonline.com the radio created for you Here in Better with Hillary Scott. So we're talking about many things. And I was I was telling Hillary that must be for some people a, a little bit scary. You know, for friends or people will say, oh, she knows me. Like she can know everything about me. Yeah, like I know that, right? <laughs> like when, but most people don't realize. They don't know what astrology is. People can be very like closed-minded about it and very like oh it's just woo woo weird information and they don't realize what you can see so I haven't really run into that too much I get it like I probably wouldn't easily hand out my information <laughs> to an astrologer because I know because <laughs> you know they, what, what yeah <laughs> although I mean I, I would to another astrologer because it's fascinating and I'd love to hear what they they had to say but but you'll yeah. be careful <laughs> yes I would be careful uh, I have you know I read I wrote some questions here and I don't want to you know I don't, I don't want to lose the opportunity. Okay. You say that the planets affect us or influence us. Yeah. Can you tell us like a, about Mars? How can Mars affect us or, yeah. you know, Venus? So I do a weekly podcast that I call the Planetary Plans. So it shows you what the planets are going to do for the week coming up. And they have, and they do. It's like the weather, kind of. We we are influenced by it. So the days, like on Sunday in my podcast, I'm like, there's going to be a lot of Neptunian energy, and you're going to be tired and sensitive, and so stay home. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not kidding. It was Sunday, and I couldn't move from my bed. I say today I'm doing nothing. I didn't do nothing. That was the right thing to do. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Yesterday night, I was listening to her podcast, and then I, I actually hear this information. And on Sunday, you might feel a bit, a little bit tired. Don't go anywhere. I'm like, oh gosh, it's like you read me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you, I think what it is is that you're intuitive and sensitive, so you were tapped into the cosmic energy that was happening, and it can. So I like to give. That's what the podcast is about. Just giving you a kind of a planetary plans. This is what's happening. Mars, for instance, on Friday we have a difficult connection between. Uranus, which is the planet planet that gives us sudden ideas or inspirations. It's related to lightning strikes, so it's very sudden and shocking. Like you, you could this Friday, this coming this Friday. Friday with Mars in an oh. opposition, and Mars is the planet of war and of like aggression and oomph, and it's the ruler of Aries, so it's related it's to like you. Fire. Yeah, yeah, fiery energy that doesn't really care what's in its way. So when they clash, which they're doing in this opposition, it can make it kind of dangerous in the world. Like you that's a day I would stay home too. Like don't go driving in traffic. Like keep yourself grounded and secure because accidents can happen much more because easily. Because people would be like Yeah, that. people are like angry oh. and and it can create like if someone has already like an Aries, like a fiery personality, <laughs> they might be more 
prone to being in these circumstances because they're they're already angry kind of so it's helpful it helps me because I'm sensitive and I like I'm like well why today am I in this <laughs> mood or why am I in that mood and and like you can relate I'm sure being cancer uh, you're moody right your moods change all the time <laughs> yes I'm and, moody and if you tap into the like what's happening you'll understand more like it feels like you have more control over yourself or something I don't know or at least you understand Maybe, you know, why you feel emotional or sad or angry or whatever. So tell me something. How, because I know you, you work with, with people. Yeah. You've been working for 24 years. Well, I've been studying for that long, but I've been working for about nine or 10 years now. Oh, that's, 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 that's a long time. Long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like actively working with clients. And, and so how do you help them? Or what do they come to you for? Or People usually come to me at a crossroads where they're like, They want, and they're often seekers. They want more information, like deeper yeah, information. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or like me, which is why I found it. So that's usually why people come. And also, they, you know, people want to find out like what their skills are, like what their career should be. Oh, when, when they can decide. Yes, what when to they're go? exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, um, like relationship stuff is very common too, because it, and it really helps with relationship stuff, because you can see like, should you even try? You can kind of see that in there. And if it's, like, going to be so difficult, like... And usually right within the beginning three weeks of a relationship, you'll have seen it all. Like, it'll just have showed itself somewhere. Where were you? Like, <laughs> then we just keep marching on. <laughs> wow. So there, it, people come, and I think what's very helpful is a lot of the time they feel affirmed. Like, they're like, oh, like, I am like that. Or it gives you kind of a place in the cosmos. Like, oh, you, you know what my dad was like. And it's not like I'm necessarily psychic, although I think your psychic skills develop. Yeah. But I think we all have them. But I see this archetype of Saturn and Venus in the chart. And I can see that that's an emotional difficulty with your father. So, and, and that, I don't know, there's something comforting about knowing that you planned it. Because I kind of come at it as like, this is so your it's plan. So it's a plan. Yeah. So, so this is, you came for in this life to live this life that you planned. You ahead. planned. Yep. To get to whatever you want to go. Exactly. So, and the birth chart's like a little map you left yourself. And some of us are lucky to find it and give you, you know, some that's, insight. That's nice. That's neat because then I guess people say, well, you know, it was written. Yeah. It was good. It, 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 it got me here. I'm better. Right. You know, like my problem. Yes, maybe. better and better. <laughs> I'm better today. Yeah, I think it's a it's tool for that, too, nice. getting better. But I also believe, like, in free will, too. Like, there's both, I think, going on. Some things are just, like, set. and Well, you have a choice. Yes, but I believe there's a choice. But there are things, like, when my dog died, for instance, it was devastating and heartbreaking. I would never have chosen that, you know, like... I just would never have chosen it. So it's hard for then when you're in moments where, how would I have chosen this? Because it's so awful. But that those are the moments I think that are more like, this is faded. Like this is, you have to experience this for whatever reason, right? Then I, I guess for those, your those moments, yeah, yeah, you can grow or yeah. you can just, you know, I don't know. Just not grow, not grow. Start drinking a lot. <laughs> I don't know. You know, yeah. It's your child. Yeah, but it, if it you is. Grow, like if you grow, then, then there's something you're learned. Be a better person in some way. Yeah. You're gonna learn. So next next time, in five years, you will be stronger enough uh, to help somebody else. Yes. Who you experienced it. Yeah. So, and that's how I look at it. And difficult experiences are so that we can help. If we come through it, then we can turn around and go, hey. This is how you can get through it. This can help you. Nice. So it's very helpful. So it's not like, oh, sorry, this is your map. No, you're screwed. Sorry, no. You're screwed. <laughs> no, I do believe in the free will aspect okay. of it too. And, and it's true. Like you have, like one planet has many ways of being. So it could go, like identical twins can have the same chart. Oh, yeah, exactly. But go in so many different directions. <laughs> so that... Often there'll be the one, the good one and the bad one. Like the one that lives the hard way and the one that lives the good way in a twin chart. And when there's twins. Which is really interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you told me in, in that class, you say, well, there's, of course, there's a lot of people who were born in the same day yeah. at the same time right? like you. Like yeah. I think your brother. My brother is your exact <laughs> birthday. So yeah. how, how did that um, can relate, you know, to people? I how mean, do people come? Like, are they the same? Well, I think oftentimes when people are very close in birth stuff, unless Like, it can happen in two ways where you're very attracted to the person because you get each other. Mm -hmm. There's a resonance, an emotional understanding. 
Or you can clash because you're showing each other the parts of yourself, oh, yourself. that you don't, don't like. Yourself. Yeah, it's like mirroring, and but you'll see the stuff you don't like about yourself in them. It's like the projection thing happens. Mm. And that can, some signs are better at handling it. Like two Aries together are often not good because they're so combative. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't usually become harmonious. But I've heard too that the same signs are often soulmates. So they have a, a, the same values. And mm-hmm. when you have the same values in a relationship, it makes everything so easy compared to if you have different values going different directions all the time. It makes sense. It does. Now, I, I was in your website mm-hmm. and I and I look, of course, because I, you don't know, I, I don't know if I have a Sagittarius in me, but I always like. Oh, that's the Gemini. You have Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Stuff, so you're seeking oh, information. I love. Very curious, <laughs> right? Very curious. Yeah. So I saw that you have this. Um, you can also do the chart for parenting. Yes. How can that help? I love that. Oh, it's so helpful. You know, because being a parent is it's not hard. easy, right? You, yeah. you cannot understand them sometimes. You're like, oh, no. why? <laughs> or they can't understand you. Yes. So how, what, how can that help? It's the same with any relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, oftentimes we are, um, like, you're lucky if you get a parent that you're compatible with. That is a jackpot if you're getting married. <laughs> but oftentimes there's like, like I've had very difficult parental relationships. And thank God for the astrology for me to be able to go, okay, like I'm not going to keep banging my head against the wall <laughs> trying to like make this work, but we're just such different people. So like my way, like I've got the Scorpio energy, so I want to like dive deep and what's the reason and what are the answers? And my mom is the Taurus and she is very stubborn and like, like, nope, like this is the way it is. And why are you asking so many questions? Stop. If I hadn't have known that, like, I don't think I would have been able to be as accepting of her for who she is. And for me, for who I am, just the differences in us. So it can help parent. It can help parents understand things they may never have figured out because they don't have that in their chart. Like so, it's, it's interesting because I, so of course, because I like to investigate. Yes. I saw my, my daughters. Uh-huh. What, what's your daughter? And she's Aquarius. Oh, okay. In the sun. Yeah. But in the moon, she's Capricorn. Oh, okay. And we have a very nice relationship. Yeah. Because I think she compliments me and I compliment, uh-huh. you know, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Capricorn side. Yeah. She's very organized. She's right. very square. Grown up. Very grown up. Yeah. <laughs> she helps me a lot. I bet she does. She says, are you sad, Mom? Don't Aww. be sad. Aww. Let's be happy. And Aquarians aren't emotional, no. really, right? <laughs> They're She's very awesome. like, why are you doing this? <laughs> What's happening with your face? <laughs> One of my best friends is Aquarius. Oh. And I love that, yes. right? I hate when you get together to cry. <laughs> so we yeah. get together to, to have fun. Yeah. And, uh, they don't like it heavy. No. Like so, it so, so being a Cancer and having an Aquarius fan is, is amazing yes. for me. Because I, I don't like crying. Oh, right. <laughs> but you have a lot. You need to cry. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, so it's a good break. And they probably need to learn to be more emotional. Yeah. Because they, they learn the energy of like sensitivity and consideration and all that from the emotional people. So, so I guess we compliment them. Yes. Nice. Compliment each other. It's interesting. Um, uh, do we still have time? No. Okay. No. <laughs> so we have to go to uh, to uh, commercials, and we'll be back with Hilary Scott. Don't miss it. Siempre contigo. Netradioonline.com. Net Radio Hey there Net Radio online listeners Feel like you need to beautify and rejuvenate lately? Well, now you can do it all at Eco Beauty Med Spa With a variety of different aesthetic, facial and body treatments Eco Beauty Med Spa is the perfect beauty spa experience for everyone Make sure you visit the Facebook page at Eco Beauty Med Spa for Life or contact Gloria Silva at 1-416-888-3354 in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Estás escuchando Net Radio Online. Eterna. 
la línea de productos de belleza líder en el mercado. Elaborados con los más finos ingredientes europeos y patrocinador oficial Miss Universo 2014. Sé parte de este grupo de profesionales exitosos y empieza a ganar dinero ahora. Luce y haz dinero con Eternal. Informes al teléfono 140 87 99 08 25. Contacto Patricia Balanzar. Eternal. Creada para ti, netradioonline.com. And we are back here in Better with Hilary Scott. So, Hilary, I cannot believe we are almost at the end I of know. the program. I can't believe it. It's going so fast. Yes. So, before anything, I want to remind you guys that tonight there's going to be um, prices of Black Friday prices on galeanoshop.com. Visit it. Really, there's many good stuff, beauty stuff. If you guys, if you if any men are listening to me it's a very good Christmas gift mm -hmm. so don't miss it italianashop.com and so now we, we can um, sorry I, I got distracted no that's okay there's lots to figure <laughs> you out you know I was, I, got, I was uh, thinking in Spanish all ah. of a sudden we were talking about Mexico and like I have to remember does that really? happen your yes. brain goes into Spanish yeah it's Spanish ah, interesting <laughs> so I have to go back yeah you, do you ever lose words like I remember coming back from Japan and I like lost English words. Like I couldn't remember the word for vacuum or oh, like yes. all these like yes. they were just disappearing. Because yes. ah. there's words that you use more in English, yeah. right? Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, interesting. You become like this mess. Yeah. So that's good. Can you see in a chart mm -hmm. when someone is gonna move to a different place? Kind of, yeah. You can see there's there's indications of that for sure. You look at the fourth house of the chart, one of the pies is the house so if like Mars or there's activity there with the planets moving through then I can say you're probably gonna move or something new is happening in your family life that kind of thing and what can you tell us about I, I know everyone is saying oh horoscopes right. Do you have anything on, on horoscopes for uh, for us today for each sign yeah if you, uh, if you, I don't if really, you may yeah it would take a long time to go through each sign specifically but more just like the planetary I like there's going to be a full moon coming up on this weekend oh this a, weekend is yes full moon. there's going to be a full moon on Saturday in Gemini which we're all affected by all the signs and so it and it, there's going to be um, a Neptunian energy in that that makes it like that tired energy that confusing kind of but it can also create inspiration so you might have like inspirational ideas inspiration to do art or create some sort of new self-expression and then with the Gemini it's all about curiosity and meeting new people and getting out into the world and like you have that in your chart too so you've got that in your character so it's very good for you Like, it's a good time on the new and the full moons to set your intentions, to be very clear with the universe, like, what do you want to create? And you can kind of, each of the moons, the full moons are in different signs, so they have different flavors, and they, oh, uh, they affect see, you differently. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Because I, I, I knew about the full moon, you know, it's a good time to, yeah. to think about what you really want. But I didn't know it also it also get affected by the, the sign on the, the moon and the sign. Yes, and all the aspects that the, the the moon is making that day will affect the energy of the full moon as well. And then the, so the full moon is really good for setting your intentions and also releasing. Like I don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore. Or I don't want to be in this bad relationship or whatever. Whatever you need to let go of, that's the full moon. And then the new moon is to start. So it's very. Um, There's every two weeks you have an opportunity to set your <laughs> intentions and get your head straight about what you want to create in the world. Good. It's very helpful. So you get affected by by the moon, you get affected by the planets, but it all depends on your sign or everybody gets affected. We all get affected, same. but it can affect each of us differently. Like we're all going to feel it. But if you're a Gemini or a Sagittarius, because it's the opposite, mm -hmm. um, you'll definitely be more affected because it's in Gemini it's in and, your oh, yeah and you're okay. so you're tuned into that resonance of that energy so you'll be kind of tapping into it more than another person but it shows up in all of our charts in some area all of us have all 12 planets 
or all 12 signs somewhere in our chart. Oh, really? Yes. All of them? Yep. So they're in different how, different areas. But, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought I thought it was just random, but you have all of them yeah. in different That's areas. That's the 12 pieces of the pie that you look at in the birth chart or each mm. sign. So each sign goes to one part of the, they're called houses, naturally. So the first house is always Aries and it's like Aries energy and who you are in the world and then goes around. It's quite complicated to try and like... <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I, can, I can see it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. and so it depends on... When, when are you born? Yes. The time? Yep. And the, the planets. And how the planets were... Um, yes. So I'll okay. put the, your birth date, time and place in, and some glorious person made a program that, that shows us yeah. what all that means. And then I can see, you know, stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. And so... Could you, like every morning you wake up and you look at the chart or, or the moon or the planets and say, oh, today is going to be a great day for... I kind know. of. I mean, like, sometimes I'm very, like, I'm especially if I'm affected or something's going on in my life, I'm very focused to try and figure it out. But sometimes it's nice to not figure it out, too. Like, just, just to, leave it. Because it's a lot of pressure to always be, like, looking. But it's also my job. So it's my job to figure it out. Like, be very <laughs> on top of what's happening all the time that's going on around. It's like being the weather girl or something. Can, and, like, you, can being you, able to say it, what's going on. Can you share with us... Um, experience with someone that you have help yes I have a lot of experience <clears throat> with people who have had very difficult traumatic kind of emotional experiences mm -hmm. and I find when I'm able to say oh well your Pluto and Mars are connected this way and this is like why you chose that experience and it heals them they, they like let it go then somehow I, it's like And, and I'm always very careful to be like, that was really hard and you're like, it was brave and good for you for like, and somehow it's kind of those, that wounded part that gets healed when it's acknowledged and there's a reason that this happened and you did it and thank you for doing, like it helps people. So there's a deep healing that happens, but then also it helps people like one of my clients, I could see in her chart that her North node, so what her soul was trying to become was in Leo and Leo is a very, it's kind of meant to perform and to show people how to do it and they're just good at shining and being who they are and that helps others do it as well and so I said you know you might have talent with acting or and she was 47 at the time and so she went and there was an acting school down the street and she signed up for acting <laughs> lessons and she's a natural like she's She's gone really far with it. So, so Leos are actors. They're not. They're quite natural performers. Oh. So it doesn't have to be acting necessarily. But even teaching is a kind of a performance. Yeah, my teacher is a Leo. Right. Like and, he, and he he he's like a performer. He teaches and performs right. at the same time. And it is a set of yes. awards. So as long as they found a niche to be in that kind of position, then their souls will be happy. But if they, you know, for whatever aspects, they might shut it down because maybe they had a Capricorn mm -hmm. mom who were like no, don't show off, or don't be loud, or whatever that they would do. It can shut that down. So it kind of brings it back to life. And I'm like, listen, you've got this here, and you need to be happy and fulfilled and not get sick. Like, you need to express this. So she did, and, like, that was, you know, just one example of someone running with it. Because not everyone's ready to just run with it and change, right? But but she was, and it was really satisfying. To and see. then she's happy, and, of course, when you do what you're supposed to be doing, yes. you're happy. It's very satisfying. Great. So she was, she's running with it now, and I, I wouldn't doubt if she actually ended up getting professional parts and things like that. I'm sure she probably will. That'd be nice. Yeah. Then you know who she is. Yeah, and I will. <laughs> when she's famous. <laughs> I will, for sure. Please. It'll be very satisfying. Any Every other, day. any other? Well, the healing aspects come in all the time, like where yeah. I'm Yeah, what about healing. illness? I, you know, That's, you know, that I there's like a that. form of astrology called medical astrology, oh. and I don't study that, but there are astrologers who can look and see the onset of illness. They can all the planets relate to organs in the body and things like that. So I kind of chose not to go specifically with the physical illnesses, but in, but in I do more the psychological the psych stuff. Well, yeah. If you ask me, I think the psycholog it, it, it was you know it yes. makes a body illness if you get yeah. bad thought thoughts and you know if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing yes. if uh, this woman you're repressing your yeah, emotions repress, exactly yeah. yeah so i think doing what you're supposed to be doing is, is healing yourself yes so i agree so, I, and i guess i just did like 
I didn't want to become too neurotic and start like, oh, someone's going to have a heart attack. Like, I just thought that'd be very stressful (laughs) to figure that out. So I stayed away from, but I would consult an astrologist myself if I was going to have surgery or anything like that. I would go to someone who understands that aspect of astrology because it's helpful. You don't want to like bleed out because you had your, you know, a mole <laughs> removed or something. I would rather know the good dates to have surgery. So what about today? Is there something special about today? Uh, today. Other than you're here. Uh, thank you. Um, what is special about today? The moon went into Aries today. It's Tuesday, right? Yes. Tuesday, 28. So besides that, the moon went into Aries. That's like, so that shifted, but nothing major, nothing major is happening today astrologically. Friday is a major day, and then the Saturday is a pretty major day. And then also Venus goes from Scorpio into Sagittarius this week. And Venus is how we have relationships, our relationship to money, our relationship to others. And when it moves from deep, broody Scorpio, like very emotional and sad and, you know, suspicious and jealous <laughs> and yeah like jealous about yeah, money <laughs> jealous, well it could be jealous about anything it's all the energy that's connected to Scorpio oh. but when it goes into Sag it's very uplifted and three minutes it's very uplifted and very like um like buoyant and excited and philosophical it's very different energy so we'll all appreciate that I think that's happening on <laughs> Sunday I believe Okay, so sometimes you're like, okay, today the planets are not in a good position, so please don't talk to me. Today. Yes, well, and I know, <laughs> like, no I'm like, like, yeah, <laughs> short-tempered, but, like, my husband loves mountain biking, and I'm going to not let him go mountain biking this weekend. I'm going to be like, I'm going to try and not let him go mountain biking, because it's, it's... Oh, the bike is my, my get a tire, well, you know, flat that, tire, that's by that, mistake, yeah, and well, then the, he couldn't go... Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. well, I know. <laughs> See, that's very Scorpio. <laughs> But he, there, I, there's that accident energy with Mars and Uranus on Friday, and yeah, I don't no. like. I, I would worry about him because of that. So yeah, because you know. Yeah. So because I know that's no. there, so I would worry, and hopefully he'll listen. So to me. poor men are not will. going anywhere on Saturday. Yeah, either. Just lock them down. <laughs> that might be a little, a little. Um, too controlling but yet if I didn't do that and then something happened I would feel terrible for not having spoke up or yeah so I'm the mom right now so, <laughs> so whatever they yeah. listen to me yeah exactly <laughs> that's a, that's a good part of yeah. being the mom yes for a few more years <laughs> I think I have that yeah I know you, your daughter is 16 right she you just say. turned 15 oh good. yes yeah. She doesn't Saturday. really listen to anything I say right now, so I don't know what I'm saying. She's still like, you know, teenagers, right? So it's been interesting. But, you know, I, I think this is neat for you because then you know what yes. everybody around her is about. Yes, and I and I understand her more than I would have because we are quite different. So I, if I didn't have her, like her moon sign and her Mercury, I don't know if I would have been able to be a good mom. Like I might have suppressed her somehow. So because I know I can stop myself from influencing her in ways that are Capricorn and not Leo whatever yeah that's that's interesting because I um we have a minute one only. minute <laughs> oh, that was so fast. okay I don't know if we have a question I don't know and if, if we do have a question maybe we won't have time to answer yeah. right now but where if, if people want to talk to you where can they find you they can get go to my website which is www.hillariescott.com But you know, you have to let them know how... The spelling. Okay, so the spelling of my name is different. It's H-I-L-L-O-R-Y S-K-O-T-T Hillary Scott. So it sounds the same, but the spelling is a little different. And that's a that's a very nice story that we will talk later. <laughs> One she, day you can she change it a little bit because of numerology. Yeah, right? numerology. Indica- when I was working as in the radio in Japan, I that's when I discovered it, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to change it. And it's been wonderful. I'm glad that I changed it. You know, I've been thinking about that. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't. I haven't. You haven't yeah. done the math. No, no it's math. You haven't. And then you can reach me at the Everyday Astrology Podcast, too. Which, which is, is very good, yeah. by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then that, they can get to my website through there as well. So you have a very nice website. Thank I you. told you before. Yeah, you did. I appreciate that. <laughs> and so we have to say goodbye. Remember, today at five to listen to Pega and City Styles. And thank you for listening. And remember, every morning, repeating, every morning when you wake up, say... Every day, in every way, my life is getting better and better. I see you next week at 11, at 
Tuesday at 11 a.m. here in netradioonline.com. The radio created for you. Uh -huh. <laughs>